Hi, I'm Marie V. Wolf. I am the proud owner of the Cuban Crocodile Restaurant and I'm also the executive chef. And thank you for joining me today. We're going to do some pumpkin empanadas. Not exactly Cuban, but sort of Cuban. Because we start off with Cuban pumpkin. So Cuban pumpkin kind of looks like a big green squash in your grocery store. You'll see it, um, or you could substitute spaghetti squash for it also. So you're going to boil the squash like you would anything else. I usually like to do it with the peel on because it's just a lot easier. As soon as it boils down, you can just take the peel off. So you're going to have the squash that's kind of like, like kind of like a mashed potato consistency. You're going to put in about two tablespoons of butter. Of course you are. That's like the best part. And you're going to mix in again, again, as you would to any kind of mashed potatoes. You're going to put in a pinch of salt, a pinch of nutmeg. That's the secret, so don't tell too many people. And we're going to keep going. When this is all mixed in and fine, we're going to take our pastry dough. Now, you can make homemade pastry doughs, but it's a lot easier to go to your frozen food section and find these. They're perfect. So we're going to put the pastry dough out. And the trick to this is you're going to take a little bit of water on your hand and you're going to like soak half the dough up. You're going to take about a teaspoon of the mixture that you just did and you're going to place it right in the middle of the empanada. You're going to fold it in half and I like to say what makes it Cuban is the little marks this way. It's not Cuban if they don't have these things. So we make like a little clamshell looking thing. As you're doing this, you're going to be heating up your oil. Your oil should be smoking, and when you're going to put your empanada in, the oil should be covering the empanada. This goes on for about two to three minutes until this dough is golden brown. That's how you know when it's done. The dough gets golden brown. And then you have these beautiful empanadas that I plated here with my own honey vinaigrette, which is just amazing. So you're going to open this up. Oh, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Nice and flaky. Oh. Oh my God. Okay, so this is like so good. All right, so you can dip it a little bit. Perfection. I'm Marie V. Wolf. I own the Cuban Crocodile, and thank you for joining me. Mm -hmm.